Hi, this is Michael, and today we're going to show you kind of the evolution of video magnifiers and talk about why it's really important when you're shopping for these to, if possible, get your hands on them. There are a lot of differences in the magnification, the crispness, the different color modes. Um, tactile versus touch screens that you're not going to really be able to discern from a list of features online. What works for some people is not going to work for others, so whenever possible, visit your local lending library or see if the vendor you're purchasing from can try different models with you. So here we have the Compact Plus. And there is a newer version of this. This is just the one I happen to have. So you can see it's not super crisp, doesn't have a lot of color modes, doesn't have a lot of magnification levels. But this came out in 2007. So this was kind of the first video magnifier that Chandra and I have been able to get our hands on. Then you get into the Candy HD or the Pebble, they, I believe they were around the same time. They're very similar in the features they have. And you see you've got kind of these big childish buttons. Very tactile friendly for if your vision needs require you to use tactile over a touch screen. And again, they have a few more color modes. They can take pictures where the Optolex couldn't. But, you know, very childish, very cartoony. So, then we get into the Ruby, and you see this is where we start getting more of the modern-day crisp image we're used to. But it's uh, still got the colorful, childish buttons, and is cartoony Fire Engine Red. Then you get to, like, the Zoom Max, and this is the first magnifier Chandra and I have seen where the buttons were more black and white. This looks more like a device for an adult. The Eschenbach came around the same time. They were competitors, still are, but that's kind of your first uh, business professional video magnifier. And the screen is super, super crisp. And then finally we have the Clover, and this is kind of where we've had we went back a little bit to some more cartoony buttons, but they're not as Childish is like the candy or the pebble. Very tactile buttons, super crisp screen, pinch zooms. So you can see kind of the how we have progressed from 2007 with the uh, Compact Plus, which is super bulky, super heavy, to now we're at more like the Clover. You know, so then and now, kind of an evolution, retro to today. Mm -hmm. So you can tell from this video, I have all these on the table, that visually, without playing with them, you would not know the differences. They all look roughly the same. I mean, you look and you're like, oh, well, they all have a plus and a minus button. They all have a picture button somewhere on them. They all have a contrast button, but... You know, half of these have reading masking and reading lines, but how you get to it is very different across devices. So whenever possible, visit your lending library or look for a vendor who can try out multiple devices with you. Like and subscribe. Hope this helps.